What's up guys, it's Blade here. And today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin. And I've had a few requests to update what I think about conduits, what the best red conduits are, uh, you know, stuff between Virtuous Command versus Templar's Vindication. So I figured I'd make a video to address some of those questions. So let's get into it. And first of all, guys, in the comments, let me see. What do you guys think of this transmog, huh? Like this transmog? I like this transmog. I haven't run this transmog in a long time. The half elite, half uh, Wrath of Lich King, and a teeny bit of Warlord's Adrenaline gear. Um, one of my favorite sets of all time. It's probably between this and Primal Glad Season 1. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Alright, so the best PvP Soulbind is still Pelagos. Uh, that is still relevant from my initial guide all the way back in December. And even though he's received some nerfs since that video, between the mastery, the percent damage reduction, but actually mainly the mastery here, Plagos is really good for Red Paladin. And that is because mastery is our number one damage stat. And when we kill people, it's pretty much with Divine Toll, Final Reckoning combos and stuns, something like that. And mastery provides the best benefit stat. So Plagos, best DPS increase with combat meditation. Uh, as far as the pathing goes, it's going to depend on your legendary, right? So, if you're running a, what's called a Reign of Endless Kings, which you should be if you are uh, looking to min-max on a, a Red Paladin in a high-end arena. Uh, in my opinion, you don't, you know, it, it is really beneficial, especially for newer Reds, to get Reign of Endless Kings first. But there are a good amount of legendaries that you can run as red. Uh, my second favorite, eh, I guess my favorite, is Final Verdict. But I have been running it slightly less. And um, when you are Final Verdict, you can run Templar's Vindication because you're not going to need the Endurance Conduit Royal Decree. Which what this lets you do is it casts a uh, lets you cast a free Word of Glory when you're Ramp Endless Kings procs. That is why we take that with the Ramp Endless Kings. But if you're not playing Ramp Endless Kings, you might as well go for more damage. And if you don't like Templar's Vindication, you can go with Light Sparting. Um, I did do pure concentration testing a lot during the beginning of the expansion. And I've only been able to get a 184. So it's not that high of a conduit. But honestly, I can't really fear... Uh, I, <laughs> I can't really feel the fear reduction. Um, and you do lose out on that 3% damage reduction without Devotion Aura. So my opinion, it's between damage or Royal Decree if you're running rain. Now, some people have asked me questions if I think Temple's Vindication or Virtuous Command is better. And Temple's Vindication is definitely better than Virtuous Command. And let me explain why. So in your opening rotation as a Red Paladin, you're going to press a Blade of Justice into a Judgment. And then you're going to immediately Seraphim Wings Divine Toll. So during that window right there... The, the buff from Virtuous Command, it lasts 5 seconds, I believe. Let me just double check right here. Virtuous Command, where is it? It lasts for 5 seconds. So you're going to use up almost all of that 5 seconds between Judgment first into Blade of Justice, or you can Blade of Justice into Judgment, you know. Just get 3 Holy Power for Seraphim. Then you're going to pop your wings, then you're going to Divine Toll. And Divine Toll... By itself, if you don't have Virtuous Command buff on yourself at the moment, it will proc it. But if you have one or two seconds left on, well, not one or two seconds. If you have Virtuous Command at all on yourself, it will not refresh the duration. But when you're Divine Tolling, you're going to have roughly one to two seconds left on your initial Judgment's Virtuous Command buff. Making it completely useless in your opening burst rotation as a Red Paladin. And you shouldn't deviate from that burst pattern either because that is your uh, the fastest and the highest burst that you can get is that opening Seraphim, Wings, Divine, Toll, Final Reckoning combo. Uh, it's not worth just for a 10% increase to hold your judgment till after the, the window is already set up. 10% uh, damage really is not that much. Even though it's guaranteed, it's just, it's just not. Um, Templar's Vindication does do more damage. Uh, I've hit roughly four to five K Templar Vindications on absolutely massive Templar's Verdicts uh, running my final Verdict Legendary. Uh, some people have said it's bugged. I personally have not found that to be the case. Uh, you guys can take a look at my Templar's Vindication video. 
Um, but yeah, I have not found that to be the case. Following this, we have a mandatory conduit endurance right here, shielding words. Lucky me, I got a 200 item level shielding words out of a box recently. Um, <laughs> and then this, this row right here does not matter. And then following that, we have ringing clarity. And I have gone 10 weeks in a row without getting a 200 item level ringing clarity i cannot believe it I, I posted on the forums about it because i thought i was bugged and a blue responded and goes no no you just have terrible rng you have the worst rng in the game i couldn't believe it i thought it was hilarious so yeah ringing clarity mandatory if you're kyrian if, guys if you're not kyrian um if you're necrolord for example do not get the potency conduit for necrolord not worth it the ability itself does not do damage um you might as well go with uh, a different potency conduit in my opinion it's probably better to just go uh, a temple of vindication and then the rest utility uh following your ring and clarity almost mandatory almost and i say almost because there are very very niche situations where you'll go a different uh setup and that is echoing blessings right here i have a 226 echoing blessings i bought it from the vendor it gives you 8% damage reduction on your sack and your bop, and that is huge. Absolutely huge. The movement speed is only 8%. It's not super noticeable. Um, maybe at, you know, maybe next season when the conduits get even higher. I know on beta, the movement speed was, uh, initially it was 16%, and then it was 12%, and now at a 226, it's 8%, so it might get more noticeable in the future. But the big plus side to this is the damage reduction on sack extra damage reduction on sack is amazing and it lasts after uh same with bop right here and the only other conduit that we'll ever really rarely swap into is divine call right here and if you have a low divine call like me a 184 it's not super worth but divine call combined with uh unbreakable spirit you can get your well a higher divine call higher than mine you can get your bubble to around like uh you know two minutes 45 second cooldown something around there it's it, it can get pretty low it can get pretty low but not with a 184 guys if you have a 184 just run echoing blessing blessings every time uh as far as other paths go um playa has some interesting options i don't think it's worth i don't think either of these people are worth outside of niche situations the mastery you get from combat meditation is is too big. It is definitely a noticeable damage increase on Divine Toll, even if it doesn't proc the ring clarity. Uh, Playa and, and Forge Light Prime are fun to mess around with, but I wouldn't say that they are Abyss or anything like that. Uh, for example, some people might think Sparkling Drift Globe is good, but you know, you're going to have your Reign of Endless Kings anyway, and a lot of times when you're dying to something like a Rogue Mage, it's only going to really stun the Rogue. Or double cast or cleave it's not going to stun them at all um you have soul steel clamps which is kind of interesting but again if we're running reign of endless kings we don't really need this um yeah so playa maybe maybe bear pursuit will be interesting in the future i'm not quite there yet but again i even even if the slow percentage is has a high uptime i just don't see it happening combat meditation is too good all right guys if you have any further questions in the comment let me know let me know about this transmog too i'm uh i'm digging this right now i dig it i i liked it before but i didn't have a weapon that i enjoyed with it and you know now now i got that weapon i got that pole arm huge fan of pole arms oh, fun stuff all right guys i'll see you all next video have a great one peace